Compound adjectives and ed. A colleague asked me this question, and I couldn't come up with an answer that satisfied him, so I'm wondering if anyone can help. Why does a man with a short temper become a short-tempered man? In other words, why do you need the ed at the end? Are there any special rules for this? There is an excellent discussion over in the word reference forums about compound adjectives ending in ed which ultimately proved inconclusive. An earlier question here on so failed to generate an answer either. So one reasonable conclusion might simply be, that's how it's done in English, which I find thoroughly disappointing but possibly true. Smiley face. Here is one scholarly article called, Compound Adjectives in English, the type lion-hearted and good-natured, which seeks to explain the, ed compound adjective type. This website is a French site, but the original publication is in English, and up was published in an Italian journal, as you can see in this bibliography. Unfortunately, I can't find an online copy of the article yet. Adjectives that precede nouns are called attributive adjectives e.g., an angry man. Adjectives ending in et or ing are called participial adjectives because they have the same endings as verb participles. However, not all participial adjectives end with ed, past participle, and ing, present participle. If a compound adjective contains an irregular verb then it will take the past participle ending. A handwritten letter a candle lit dinner an easily misunderstood question a built-up area. Often a compound adjective is written with a hyphen, especially if it precedes the noun. Many participial adjectives have no corresponding verb, in which case they are formed by combining a noun with a participle. Alcohol-based chemicals battle hardened soldiers a tree-lined avenue a short-handed team a short-tempered man a kind-hearted girl. Compounds formed by a noun ending with ed are hyphenated in any position in the sentence hence, the first example could be rewritten as chemicals that are alcohol-based, likewise, a short-tempered man, and a man who is short-tempered. But in the case of a man with a short temper. In this phrase, there is no compound adjective, short is an attributive adjective qualifying the noun, temper. Consequently, many of the given examples can also be rewritten without using a compound adjective and a hyphen. A dinner lit by candle. A question that is easily misunderstood. A letter written by hand. A girl with a kind heart. More information, for those interested, on compound adjectives see this page. Thanks to Edwin Ashworth for pointing out that hyphens are necessary to disambiguate meaning thus you can have a man-eating shark, but the phrase, a man-eating shark, contains a completely different meaning. This must not be taken as a definitive answer. Only hints too long to fit in a comment. A. In order to form a compound adjective of the type ADJ plus noun ed, I'd say. 1. The noun should be able to transform into a reasonably comprehensible ed adjective. Temper tempered, SO or STH with a temper, seems okay. Chair, N, asterisk chaired, doesn't seem to make sense. 2. The adjective in the first part of the compound word must fit with the noun ed adjective. A blue eyed boy seems okay. A blue tempered boy doesn't seem to make sense. B. I've just gone back to an academic paper I'd read a while ago exploring compound adjectives and in particular, the noun plus, ed structure A. Here's a paragraph from this paper, it doesn't really answer the AY in your question, but points toward a possible answer. Papers in French, translation mine. Many linguists have pointed out that this type of compound adjectives, ADJ plus noun ed, is mostly used when describing a physical, blue-eyed, or mental, bad-tempered, characteristic. This physical characteristic doesn't only apply to people but can be found in animals, short-winged, red-tailed, or objects, red-roofed, sharp-pointed. Assuming that the ADJ plus noun ed compound adjective gives a definitory attribute to the noun, some linguists and grammarians will be inclined to refuse compound adjectives whose first word would express the point of view of the speaker. Further on in this paper the author compares the compound noun middle age to the adjective a middle aged Could we imagine short temper as a possible noun? Then could we say the ed suffix differentiates the noun from the adjective? A question with slash without ed for the compound adjectives formed by a ADJ plus noun eh? had been asked on English.se, and thanks to Fumblefingers for pointing out to John Lawler's comment on the disappearance of a-ed, in spoken, and consequently written form, English. Wooded mountains. The ending in wooded, is not the normal ending of verbs as in open slash open slash opened. When ed is added to a noun it becomes an adjective meaning having something or being provided with something. Some examples. Wooded mountains provided with wood. Snow-capped mountains provided with caps of snow. 
This type of word formation was already in use in Latin. Latin fortuna meaning luck. Latin fortunatus meaning having luck, favored by luck or the goddess of luck. If you want to support the channel, please consider watching and subscribing.